Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-16 Viper. This is a mission we did a little while ago. I did it with the F-18. Uh, we had some B-21 Raiders uh, dropping some cruise missiles, doing some seed suppression for us, uh, suppression of enemy air defenses. And then we had to fight through uh, a few MiG-29s and then get to uh, an airfield and kill some Sukhoi 34s that were on the ground. Uh, if you guys remember that mission, it did not end well for the F-18. Uh, we got smoked by an SA-13 in the final stages of that mission. Uh, so I thought we'd try it again. We'll try it with the F-16 and see how it goes. Uh, I think the F-16 will have a little bit of an easier time, at least with the air-to-air -air aspect of this whole thing. Um, air-to-ground might be a little different. The Hornet's pretty good at that kind of stuff. So, um, Okay, let's go ahead and line up on the runway here. Let's get airborne uh, and see if we can find those MiG-29s. We also have an E-3 Sentry AWACS here to assist, so we should have some nice data link coverage that should make this fight a lot easier. Fuel may be an issue when it comes to the F-16 here, so we'll have to be wary of that. Uh, I only have one centerline tank, so um, let's go ahead and get airborne here. And immediately all of the Syrian SAMs are going to start looking over here as soon as they see me airborne. We'll switch the air to air, pull up the data link. Keep in mind, well, first of all, keep in mind that you can download this mission in the video description below if you want to download it. I have it repurposed for an F-16. Uh, MiG-29s are in the air. And if you want to pick up the F-16, uh, you can use the code on the screen here uh, for 10% off. Uh, we got the, it looks like the B-21s, those were the other green circles. They're turning away, which tells me they probably are already launching their cruise missiles or they have launched them. Uh, let's go ahead and point the nodes at these MiG-29s, and they're already showing up on radar. Uh, data link says they're inside of 40 miles. And I'm being locked by an SA-5, uh, possibly an SA-3 as well here. We got a uh, first bandit locked. Uh, got him at about 31 miles, so let's go ahead and start climbing here. Uh, yeah, let's climb above this layer of clouds here. 28 miles now. Twenty-seven miles, we're going to continue to climb. Uh, at a certain point, these SAMs are going to launch at me. And I'm going to assume, well, that is going to have to be the range that I go cold at. The SAMs will engage me, I think, before the MiG-29s. Um, and those cruise missiles will not hit those SAMs in time. There you go, we already got a missile in the air. Master arm on. Fox 3 for me. We'll defend. Okay, we'll drop the nose here. Those SAMs are fairly far away, I think, so we should have some time to crank. Oh, nope, there's one right there. Never mind. <laughs> it's a lot closer than I thought. <laughs> there's no time to crank. Uh, so we're going to just go cold, and I can't support that AMRAM. We're going to dive down and drive that missile into the ground. There we go. It hit the ground there. Uh, multiple missile launches in the distance there.
so having not supported that AMRAM, uh, I'm not confident that it'll hit. But it was within 20 miles, 27 miles, 25 miles really, I think it was. So that should be enough. I don't see any splashes in the distance though. So I will have to get some support from the SAM sites at the airfield. Uh, and if these MiG-29s give me a lot of trouble, uh, it could be problematic for my fuel. This is a constant issue, issue with the F-16, is uh, how limited its fuel supply is, essentially. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and climb here at 13 miles. That's actually fairly close. Let's shoot him here. Fox 3 at 10 miles. Again, defend. There's no need to guide the AMRAM at 10 miles. It can find the target on its own. SA2, MiG-29, SA5, SA3, everyone's looking over here. Uh, we gotta deal with these MiG-29s and the cruise missiles should theoretically uh, open the door there. There we go. Splash one MiG-29 off in the distance. Depending on those uh, B-21s. Because if they don't open this SAM net for me, there's no way I can get in there. Even with them opening what they can in terms of a hole in this net for me, it's still going to be quite a difficult challenge to get in. Okay, missile launch. We'll defend here. I think this is a MiG-29 who's actually fairly close, so I gotta stay super low. And we're gonna have to fall back a little bit and have my... SAM sites help me out. I can see one right there. They're like outside of 10 miles. I think that's the guy I want to recommit onto. Let's bump the uh, range down to 30 here. And Data Link says there's a guy chasing me fairly close. There's some SAM sites exploding off in the distance there. So let's recommit and see if we can find some MiG-29s defending. Data Link says three of them are still airborne, uh, but there's one high. There's a very high bandit. It's a high threat at 17,000 feet. Got him locked. He's, somebody shot at me. I think it was him. Fox 3 and I'm defending at 8 miles. I think this is actually going to be a close one. Getting as low as I can. And there he is up high. That's a missile trail. Flash. Got one. Yeah, he was up high. He got caught up high with his pants down, and Amram found him. So based on the altitude he was at, he was way inside the mar. Oh, here we go. We got some of my SAM sites. They're helping to defend me here. I'm continuing cold in case his missile, because his missile was pretty high. So it's kind of dangerous. Uh, SAM sites are covering me, so those MiG-29s are definitely pushing me here. 
and I'm getting a little worried about my fuel state but we'll continue here uh, getting locked by an SA5 got a MiG-29 pushing me we have one AMRAM remaining I'm trying to get him locked here got him locked it's gonna up oh, lock never mind lost lock stand by locked okay nine miles Fox 3 defending Okay, chaff and flare at 8 miles. Oh, we're bingo. Bingo fuel. You can see fuel flashing on the HUD there. We're at 1,900 pounds now. So that's not good. We're not going to be able to complete the mission at 1,900 pounds of fuel. Um, although there's an airfield right here. It's the same air airfield I took off from. So assuming I can take care of this last MiG-29, I'm going to land real quick. <laughs> I'm going to refuel and we're going to go again and we're going to make it quick. I'm not even going to rearm. We're just going to grab some more fuel and get out of here. Okay, this guy shot at me. We're defending. I'm going cold just to be safe. And like, I don't have the fuel to really be doing this. Oh, there he goes. He died. He died back there. We're going to improvise, adapt, and overcome here a little bit. I'm going to land. I'm going to refuel real quick. Uh, we're not going to do anything. I'm not going to grab any more AMRAMs or anything like that. Uh, so if there's another airborne target out there, uh, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to have to gun it or we're going to die. And to be honest, I don't have time to dogfight something in the middle of a SAM net, you know? Oh yeah, let me uh, get this right. Smash it on the ground like an F-18. <laughs> Break the landing gear. <laughs> These things like to go down like butter, but I'm gonna kinda hit it hard here because I'm a little fast coming in. That was alright, whatever. That'll do. Okay, we are getting airborne again. Really don't have time to waste. Those cruise missiles should have hit by now, so the SAM net should be fairly empty. And as you can hear, it is kind of quiet, so I think we're good to push in. Okay, now we're gonna have to start working our way through this SAM site here. This mission has been getting a little bit longer than I intended it to be. <laughs> it's more complex than I thought. Um, we're pushing in. I, I am holding two harms. Because uh, there's the objective right there, that little diamond. That's the waypoint we're headed to. Um, I want to see what SAM sites are gonna try to engage me and I can shoot them with harm to try to suppress them. Uh, you see these fives that are red? These are the SA-5s that are probably gonna shoot at me. 
you can hear them locking me up right now. Okay, we have a missile launch, so I know this guy is not only willing to shoot me, but he is in range, so I'm going to engage him uh, with my first harm. Uh, my HTS pod responsible for identifying that uh, radar site. I'm going to pull up here. I want the white circle to be to engulf the thing I have locked on the HAD page. And that looks good. Magnum will defend. So, even if that harm doesn't hit him, it is going to force him to turn off his radar if he doesn't want to get hit by it. Uh, you, If you just heard the word low, <laughs> that's my countermeasures. My flare and chaff are now low. So, that's more bad news. Okay, we defended that missile launch. I'm going to turn around and try to push back into that objective. Another missile launch here. No, it's the same one. Never mind. I think. I don't know. There's so many missile launches now. Alright, I got the other harm pulled up here. And I'm gonna start turning into the objective here. I'm trying to stay low, because hopefully low will make it hard for them to lock me, and it'll also make it so I'm not uh, close enough for them to engage, although they still might. Because uh, as I climb, the missile has more range to hit me, so they'll shoot me uh, at a further distance the higher I am. So the lower I am, the better. Uh, but it does make me vulnerable to man pads, AAA, all that kind of stuff. Uh, climbing here, I want to engage this other SA-5 site. See if I can shut him up. Uh, okay, yeah, he shot at me. Of course he did. Magnum. And this is it for me. From here, I'm gonna have to find these objectives, hit them, and get out of here. Because that's both my harms. I can no longer defend myself. I guess, I guess I can. I can still defend. I can terrain mask. I can notch. But I guess what I mean is, like, I can't be offensive in my defense. Kind of is kind of what it is when you shoot harms, right? Uh, it's a defensive move, but I am attacking that that SAM site. Uh, there's that objective there. SA2 is looking for me now, and an SA5. Missile launch. That's very bad news, actually, because that means I'm still in range. It's possible the B21s might have missed some of their their objectives because this area really should be fully open. This is the objective area. It's the whole point. There's not supposed to be any SAMs here. Or at least none that are in range and able to shoot. This thing's super low here. You can hear it's making it... They're trying to lock me, but it is making it hard for them. Being so low. Uh, the base is kind of still further further out here. I'm gonna turn into it. We're gonna have to take a chance and just try to get a little closer. Fuel is once again gonna become an issue if we just keep hanging out here. Uh, that is... Oh, those are trees. <laughs> Never mind. I got a missile launch from in front, but we should be okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'll just reduce altitude here. It'll drive it into the ground. And once again, I apologize for the FPS drop. I don't know what that is. Please let me know if you're having a similar issue. Uh, I've had it since the last update. To DCS. Okay, I'm gonna... We defeated that missile by reducing altitude. 
TGP, I, I have an SA-2 that's been hit by the B-21s near the airfield, so the objective should be around here somewhere. I'm going to climb a little bit for a better view. This is the airfield. Maybe that's a runway. There's like another, that's an SA-5 battery over there, I think. Oh wait, there's not supposed to be an SA-5 there. Let's go to a wide angle. Missile launch from an SA-3 over there. Why is there an SA-3 over there? I'll just pull away from it. If we go cold, I'll put it on my 6 o'clock and we'll go cold and hopefully that solves that problem. Where is that thing shooting from? Where is this objective? <laughs> I'm so lost. It should be right here.